the CSIR, we're passionate about impactful innovations. Today, CSIR Connect has been invited to Kwakolo in KwaZulu-Natal, where the organization, together with a multitude of stakeholders, will be handing over TV White Spaces Spectrum project to the community. Come with me. Welcome to CSR Connect MEC. Please explain to us why the provincial government decided to invest in this project. Well, we take economic recovery, reconstruction and transformation as our top priority. So when we were exposed to this particular opportunity, of course, the Premier himself had, is a great champion of, of, the, of young people's agenda. Uh, and he made opportunities available and when he came across this particular opportunity in partnership with uh, UNDP and the CSIR, uh, then that provides the perfect combination uh, of intellectual property, intellectual skill, the cutting edge technology, and then of course talent on the ground brought together, not brought together necessarily, but with government providing a, a very essential yeah. collaborative coordinating um, function. And what impact are you hoping to see from the community? What are some of the immediate fruits of your labor that you would like to see? No, I, I think the immediate results are there, the, the, the extent to which it's inspiring, uh, the extent to which you, any local member of the community can be asked to open their phone and go to their settings and see that you know, they can connect and it's free. I mean, that, that's absolutely revolutionary for a rural area. Thank you very much for your time today, MEC. Pleasure, all the best, thank you. Thank you. Nati, please give us the story behind this project. Thank you, Anna, for having me here. Uh, this project, as a brainchild of CSR in partnership with UNDP to assist uh, South Africa to recover from COVID-19 challenges. They came together to identify SME like EdNote to empower them in order to enable connectivity in rural areas, as the connectivity has been identified as the key factor around economic recovery. So EdNote is a beneficiary of that project. That's why we are here today to commission this network for the first time in rural areas. But what inspired the idea? EdNote has had a desire to connect these communities and give them, and give them access to the world. What really inspired us are solving basic challenges that are encountered by our local communities. And what impact would you like this project to make or to have on the overall communities? Because there's quite a few communities that are going to benefit from this. What are you looking forward to seeing? Our main goal uh, right now, we want to first remove this perception that it data cost cannot be addressed. Number two, we want to bring creative way of rolling out infrastructures to areas that are previously neglected. Also our main focus, if you've noted, we've, we've uh, uh, connected nine schools currently. We believe that the access to information is need to be uh, encouraged from the young age. Thank you very much for your time today, Nati. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to CSR Connect Nkosi. Tell us the story about how this project started for the community. Uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, and thank you for your visit in our area. Uh, I was firstly introduced to, to the CEO of, of uh, EdNote by a, a friend of mine who told me about uh, this opportunity which was talking about a space uh, of rural people benefiting from broadband. And uh, to us, we felt it was an opportunity uh, for the community that we lead to benefit from this program. So for us as a traditional council, as the Guadalupe Traditional Council, we saw an opportunity that if we partner or if we work with uh, Ethnote, it will be able to have an impact in our society in terms of youngsters be able to access information through Wi-Fi, through this broadband. So we took an opportunity and we are here now. 
Thank you very much for your time today, Inkos. Thank you very much. Welcome to CSR Connect, Dr. Mfupe. Thank you, Anna. Please explain to us how the CSR got wind of this project. We are here because of the kind of work we do at the CSAR. As you are aware, we have been working on the technology for rural broadband connectivity called television white space. So through that uh, uh, innovation at CSAR, our development uh, partners like the UNDP were uh, interested to work with us so that we can support their program to connect rural and townships uh, in the country. So we are here at the implementer of these networks, uh, for example, the one here at Adnot. We are the one who made sure that it is up and running. And as we witnessed, uh, we handed over the ownership uh, certificate to Adnot, who is a beneficiary of this UNDP program. And how was, how was this partnership? Are these the partnerships that you as a group are looking forward to, to form, formulating in industry? And obviously at uh, government level as well. Of course, as you, as, you, as you know, the mission and vision of CSR, uh, we, we embrace collaboration and partnership with development partners, uh, SMMEs, big industries, uh, to improve the lives of South Africans. So this is just one of those. There are a number of partnerships at CSR that we have and at different uh, research groups and uh, clusters. Thank you very much for your time today, Dr. Mfope. Thank you, Anna. If it's not on CSR Connect, it didn't happen. That's all we had for you this week. Please keep on watching, stay safe, and see you next time.